Hello all, I'm Newman from Newman Technologies. Please click on subscribe button to stay updated with the latest technologies. Today we are going to explore in depth direct attached storage or simply DAS. Do you remember the three types of data storage technologies that we studied in the last lesson? DAS, NAS, and SAN. So we are exploring the first type of technology called as DAS. So do you remember the definition of DAS? If not, no worries. We will explore DAS in details here. So DAS stands for Direct Attached Storage. In DAS, you have just a bunch of disks called as JBOD or simply a bunch of disks hold it to, holding together in an enclosure with no intelligence, no controller and it is attached to the server directly. The storage connects to the server and communicates with various protocols or rules like ATA, SATA, eSATA, SCSI, FC for fiber channel or SAS. We will study in detail about each of these storage protocols in the upcoming lessons. Let's have a look at some of the advantages of DAS. DAS is good to attach storage to a server locally. DAS can be deployed quickly as it does not involve setting up complex network infrastructure. We can say it is simple deployment. DAS is good for small to medium business as it involves lesser cost as compared to other types of storage devices. And last but not the least, it has no complexity as it is a point to point connection between the storage and the server. Now let's have a look at the disadvantages of DAS. The first one being DAS is a single point of failure. So this is our DAS environment. In this environment, the disk storage device itself may fail due to disk failure or power supply to the disk storage device or the connection between the server and the disk storage itself may fail. What about sharing this disk storage with other servers? It is not possible to share the device because it is a one-to-one -one connection between the DAS and the server. DAS environment is not as scalable as other technologies. If you need more space, you cannot simply keep on adding DAS devices to the server as there is limited number of connections available to the server. DAS environment is not easily manageable as each server in your environment will have an individual DAS setup. You need to monitor each storage separately. You need to backup these storage separately through the server. There is no centralized console to manage all the disk devices from a single pane of glass. So these were the points I wanted to discuss about DAS. In the next lesson, we are going to study about NAS. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have learned direct attach storage. Please click on subscribe to my channel to stay tuned and continue gaining knowledge. Also click on the bell icon to be notified when I publish my next video. Thank you.